I swear I walked through a spider web. Oh. So today is not going to be a traditional shoot because I don't have one planned. Uh, I'm actually going to go take a photo of a building that I've been wanting to take a photo for a while. And so right now, I want to get a sunset photo. Right now it is about 4.17 and so i got to wait till a little later. So I am waiting for my wife to get back and we're going to have some dinner and everything and then I'm going to head out there after the little man goes to bed. So I'm taking you along with me because this is a... Uh, a practice shoot and it's a, it's a building that I wanted to get for my portfolio and it's a commercial building so that'll hopefully break into a little bit of a new market uh, but right now I'm hanging out with this guy and we're just playing around say hi Coop all right finally able to leave the house and the Sun is starting to set fast and I'm afraid the lights gonna be crap but by the time I get out there hopefully hopefully it'll be okay I was probably supposed to leave about 30 minutes earlier or maybe 15 uh, earlier to get there and uh, get time to set up but I am gonna be rushing to get over there cloud covers good I just gotta beat the Sun work quick get it on tripod ready to go let's see how it turns out all right so this shot I'm setting up with here it's an HDR shot I'm doing a three bracketed uh, three bracketed sequence this is the best angle I think that I'm going with uh, in the short amount of time I have Suns over there so I want to get that in there and so you can see on the back of the camera here that's my overexposed, that's my under, and that's my neutral. I think it'll work good. I still have a little bit of cleanup here to do, but for the most part, I think it's going to work good. Now I'm going to wait for the sun to go down just a little bit more, just to see what kind of colors we have. I might even send the drone up, depending on uh, how much time I have. So we'll see how that goes. got the drone up there finally able to get it up in the air and get a good shot uh, probably can't tell on the screen here you've seen the footage but it's right up there and I'm just having it kind of do a uh, small time lapse uh, I don't know if it's gonna work out or not but it's staying pretty steady there's no wind so uh, I'm gonna see how this turns out so you might be asking yourself why this building why do I want to take a picture of this building it just looks cool <laughs> it's got glass on the front of it it's got a cool walkway even though I can't get that angle because the trees and stuff are there it's just a cool looking building now of course I wish the lights were on and I could get like a really cool shot but since I'm doing this kind of uh, without permission I guess it uh, this will have to do so it's all it is is just a dentist office but it's a really cool dentist office I just love it Here we are, I got the photos all put into Lightroom and I'm just going to quickly go over these, which ones are my favorites. So as you can see in the beginning here, these were kind of the ones that I took uh, pretty 
pretty early when the sun was kind of setting. And I thought this was the best angle, but I'm not liking it actually. I'm going to tell you guys a little secret here. I've already scrolled through these real quickly and I've already known my favorites. Uh, but I'm going through some of these and uh, this is one of the reasons why I really hate HDR is because I hate looking through all of these. Um, but uh, this angle is kind of cool. I like this. Uh, for some reason, I like the building in the background. Next, I'm going to keep scrolling here, just looking and looking. Uh, as you can see, my import preset actually applied a little bit of uh, adjustments here. Uh, so I'm just kind of looking around to see which one's my favorite. And here is getting into the latter part of the shoot here, which you saw. Uh, I'm liking the sky a lot better here. And I think, as I was saying before, I think these start being my favorites. It doesn't show the whole building, uh, which is surprising to me because I thought I wanted to get the whole building in the shot. Uh, but these are actually looking really nice to me. So I'm liking these. This one's a little bit more zoomed out. So this was actually the one that I took right before ending the whole the whole shoot. Uh, I do have these over here, and this is just an example to show you how bad it looks compared to the other side. So this is definitely the best side. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly uh, quickly edit this. I'm going to show a time lapse of it so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. Uh, but this is me quickly editing this photo, and I'll see you on the other side of it. Okay, so there was my quick edit of it. Uh, I'm actually really happy the way it turned out. Uh, you can see the before and after here. Uh, pretty kind of bland here, but we kind of really pump it up and make it really, really look colorful. Uh, make the sunrise really, or the sun sunset, make the sunset really pop a little bit, uh, and just you know take care of the uh, the boring looking asphalt here. Uh, but one thing I've been doing lately that I've been playing around with is actually doing uh, kind of highlights and I think you might have saw that with the brush where I get a brush here and I do little highlights around here so you can see there's a highlight here, there's a little one here brightening this up a little bit and just doing spot spot highlights and this was actually kind of uh, learned from uh, doing Mike Kelly's stuff uh, he does his with a flash obviously uh, but this is kind of a, uh, a, a faster way of doing it uh, in, can uh, in post actually to, uh, to do little brush highlights uh, just kind of sprinkle them around here and I think it looks pretty well so now I'm actually gonna take this photo into Photoshop and correct a couple things I want to get rid of the branches here I want to maybe take out the tree I don't know I might leave that there but I want to correct the window here uh, I want to make I'm gonna basically copy this window here and put it there uh, there's a light out that's right there I want to copy it over there also there's a uh, newspapers you can kind of zoom in here uh, there's newspapers I want to get rid of those so I'm gonna take this into Photoshop and do the uh, rest of the edit in there Okay, so here is the final edited photo. I think I'm pretty happy with it. I, 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 I feel I feel pretty comfortable with all the edits there. Uh, I think it looks a lot cleaner. I even took some things off that might might not have sh should have come off, but I, I feel like they just need to do that to uh, to to make it look like a nice clean image. So uh, so that's it, guys. That's it for this episode. Thank you for joining me in this road to full time episode. This was just another way of uh, filling your portfolio with cool images of uh, from around you know your area. Uh, this took me no time to do as far as going out there and shooting the the building and, and having a finished image to put in my portfolio really fast so uh, thank you guys for joining me in this road full time see you later